Coming up at 11, Kentucky school districts are trying to make sure they have enough school resource officers as a deadline quickly approaches. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening to you. I'm Dakota Makris. With the string of school shootings in recent history, the 2022 Kentucky Legislature took up a bill looking to address campus security. But meeting the requirements of this legislation may not prove easy for every school district. WIMT Zach Hawk has more on how two regional districts are approaching the problem and the challenges each face. House Bill 63 mandates school districts assign a school resource officer, or SRO, on every campus in every district across the Commonwealth. Laurel County Schools Superintendent Doug Bennett says he supports any safety measure to protect students. We want to remove obstacles. We want to remove distractions so that students and staff can focus on the mission of a school system, and that is teaching and learning. To comply with the order by the August 1st deadline, Laurel County Schools will hire 20 full-time SROs creating its own police department. But officials acknowledge it's not cheap. Officers may cost upwards of sixty dollars to $80,000 a year and require significant training. Now this is an unfunded mandate with limited time, very limited time. Uh, but regardless, we're going to make that happen. In smaller counties, the challenge with complying is even harder. Letcher County Schools Superintendent Denise Yance is all for the safety measures, but says time is the least of her concerns. We can build in our budget. Uh, it will take us longer, take us more than a year to build in seven new positions. But if I had the money today, I couldn't find the seven people. She says it is challenging finding the right people to hold a position of trust in the school. It takes a special officer to be an SRO, to work in a school building with children of all ages, dealing with what happens on a daily basis in that building, and then to protect them and have that relationship with them. It takes a special person. You can't just pull a, any officer to be an SRO. Yance says they will do everything they can to comply with the mandate, including working with the Kentucky Center for School Safety. Zach Hawk, WYMT, Mountain News. Schools are required to comply with the order of assigning an SRO on every campus by August 1st or report a plan to accomplish this to Kentucky school security marshal if they cannot. Well, it was a warm day around the mountains today. However, it wasn't necessarily a terrible day to be outside. Yes, it was warm, but it was not overly muggy. That's something that might change as we head into the next couple of days. As of right now, though, all is quiet on I-75 at Mount Vernon, though we do have several tractor trailers on the interstate at this hour, as you'd expect, right? Three minutes past 11 o'clock here on this Tuesday evening. Upper 60s right now in downtown Whitesburg. That dew point sitting at 61. It's one of the higher numbers we've seen in a while. Highs today, well, around the mountains, it was toasty. Low to mid-90s around the region. Monticello got up to 94, not on the map, but Irvin also got up to 94. Most of us though in those low 90s this afternoon. Many of us this evening still down into the low to even middle and upper 70s, though we do have a few 60s sneaking in there in southwest Virginia as well as places like Manchester and Monticello. Satellite and radar around the eastern third of the country. We're in good shape. The ring of fire all around that heat dome that's in control of us. So all is quiet expectedly for tonight. Mid 60s, mostly clear with winds light and variable. The very latest though on when we could see some showers and storms return to the forecast. That's coming up in a few minutes. Dakota. All right, Evan, thank you. Well, tobacco makers could have to lower nicotine levels in cigarettes in the future. The Washington Post is reporting the Biden administration is expected to issue a rule requiring those levels be brought down to a non-addictive level. Well, that would be in line with President Joe Biden's pledge to reduce cancer deaths by 50 percent over 25 years. Well, if Biden issues the rule, it could take the Food and Drug Administration more than one year to implement it. During that time, the public would be asked to comment on it during a review period. The tobacco industry could also challenge such a regulation in court. The CDC reports the leading causes of death for men are heart disease and cancer. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men worldwide, but it is treatable if caught early. The risk of prostate cancer increases with age. Black men and those with the family history of prostate cancer are more likely to develop the disease. 
When Hembry found out about his prostate cancer during one of his annual checkups, he says it's why they are so important to stay on top of. There were no symptoms uh, for me 12 years ago. None. I would have, I would have, I would have not, not known from my physical being uh, that there was, there was, that there was anything wrong. Uh, just take that uncertainty out of it. Get the test. No excuse. Readily available. Well, June happens to be National Men's Health Month, encouraging men to take care of their bodies by eating right, exercising, and working to prevent disease. Well, the Appalachian News Express reports its regional advertising director, Danny Coleman, died Monday at the age of 51. Coleman lived in Belfry and worked in the newspaper business for more than one decade. He oversaw advertising operations for the Appalachian News Express, the Floyd County Chronicle and Times, the Hazard Herald, the Mingo Messenger, and the Paintsville Herald. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced. Louisville Metro Police arrested a man accused of punching the city's mayor in the face. It happened during the weekend. Police say this man, Antoine Brown, is the man seen in the video punching Mayor Greg Fisher. A member of the mayor's security team confronts him before checking on Fisher. Police say they arrested Brown today without incident. The FDA approved COVID-19 vaccines for a new age group. As of Friday, COVID-19 vaccinations were permitted for permitted to children as young as six months old to five years old. The available vaccination for this age group are Pfizer and Moderna. Well, while this is still the same vaccine as adults are getting, doctors say that in order to protect younger bodies from potential side effects, the dosage is much smaller. Actually, the dose for children is probably because of their body weight. Uh, so you don't need the adult dose to be given for children to produce the same amount of immunity or antibody response. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Ferris Cotter adds even though younger patients receive a lower dosage and is just as effective as an adult vaccination. Senator Rand Paul was in Simpson County this morning. He was there to hear about issues important to the community. He also discussed his efforts in the Senate. Paul also talked on the approval of vaccines for children under five, saying that most kids that have COVID have developed immunity. Even kids who haven't had COVID who get it for the first time, the death rate's one in two million. And there's a lot of ways to keep our kids safe, but uh, COVID's not one of them for our kids. We need to uh, not be mandating it, and parents need to be able to make their own choice. Well, Paul says he asked Dr. Anthony Fauci last week if a child who already had COVID needed to get the vaccine or if the risks outweigh the benefits. He claims Fauci never answered him. Today, Governor Andy Bashir announced new money for safety upgrades at Eastern Kentucky University. The governor awarded $369,000 to the school. It will pay for a new six foot wide sidewalk and lighting on campus. The sidewalk will also feature new ramps that comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The governor says this will not only help people who have accessibility issues, but will also help the environment. This project helps protect our people and the students and faculty at EKU. On top of that, it's going to help people uh, be healthy and benefit uh, the environment by providing an easy way to get to and from campus without needing to take a bus or a car. And a federal program is covering 80% of the cost of these upgrades. Camp in Invention kicked off at Pikeville Elementary School this week and kids were ready to learn and have some fun. The objective of the camp is to introduce kids from kindergarten to sixth grade to STEM fields. One instructor at the camp says it is important to expose these young minds to STEM fields and prepare them for the future. It's so important for our kids to have a basic understanding of technology, to understand how science works, uh, to understand the process of engineering. Um, the world that they live in is going to be different than what we live in now, and they will be the future innovators, future inventors one day. Well, Blackburn added that the children's enthusiasm throughout the camp every year is heartwarming and exciting, and the instructors are always just as excited. Well, KFC has come up with a unique way to make sure its, its food is finger licking good. The fast food chicken chain is now offering finger sporks with its side dish meal. 
The finger spork <laughs> replaces the handle on the restaurant's most popular eating utensil with a place for your fingers. Once it's firmly on, you can use the spork to eat your entire meal with your hands. You don't have to buy the finger spork. KFC says it will give you the free ones when you order its KFC side lovers meal. The giveaway goes through July 12th or while supplies last. I should not have looked at that video. Well, coming up at 11, a daring rescue attempt down at Pigeon Forge after a woman drove over an embankment while traveling with her dog. Yeah, you're just chicken. More home, more warm and humid weather is on tap for the next few days. I've got the latest on whether or not the forecast could include some showers and storms coming up. Summer has arrived and 